Hey guys. So we're having a picnic in the park. And this is what it looks like. Can you see? It's so sunny though. So I'm having a picnic. I got my water. Never been to this park before. So. I was living in an extended stay hotel. I just gave that up this morning. So basically homeless right now. Beautiful living in the park. So storage unit and I got a gym membership so I can go shower and I got a library nearby and this park is very nearby so I get to come here every day and enjoy this weather hopefully until winter is over so maybe hopefully for the month of March so that wait for this winter to be over before excuse me before I go back to Minnesota so I, I would probably say I'm just snowbirding here for some reason I thought I was moving here but just never say never you know you have to go somewhere and, and get the feel of it you just never know how you're gonna feel in a month's time or two weeks time and that's what happened with me. I didn't know. I, I thought I was moving here, but I think maybe God was just like making me snowbird here. Like I guess he's saying you're coming here just for the winter. So I'm just gonna probably just live in my car and go to work and use the gym and shower and stuff like that. Just at least for a month. So I figure out what I want to do next, you know, because I definitely don't want to rent another apartment or, or, or extended stay hotel because they're just so noisy and it's just not peaceful environment. It's chaotic, uh, at least the places I've been to. My first apartment was, it was so amazing. Like, I would live there again. Out of all the apartments or places I've lived in, my first apartment was the best apartment. And that's because it wasn't one of these big corporate, so many buildings kind of apartment. It was two, two apartments, uh, two buildings side by side, each other, you know, side by side. And my unit was, think about like cross sign, my unit had one unit on that side, one on that end, one on this end, one on this end, and a second floor, one on that side, one on this side, one on this side, one on this side. So everybody had their own corner kind of, and the bedrooms like, so this is the middle, and there's an apartment this way, and my apartment is in the back. Think about the far end of that corner, that's where my bedroom was. And then in front of my bedroom, there's the, the shower, and then the kitchen shares a wall with the other person. And then on this side of my apartment, 
because the living room shares a wall with the laundry room. So my bedroom was pretty much tucked in the corner. It was always very quiet in our apartment, like, um, except I could hear people upstairs, you know, having sex or whatever. Um, but it wasn't so bad, like, it wasn't so loud. You could hear the bed pounding and pounding and pounding. But you, did, you couldn't really, you didn't hear them, like, screaming loudly. Like, like the um, extended stay I was at for the past month and a half or so. This one, the walls are so thin, like, <laughs> I hear it from every corner. I hear it from the person I shared the wall to my right. You know, making love, whatever, screaming, and oh my god, they were like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god, and they, and they did it every week, and then they would fight afterwards. You know, that is nothing to me. I, I don't. Really, that doesn't really bother me. Or, or sometimes the one upstairs, the one above me too, in this hotel, they had crazy sex. <laughs> the night I moved in <laughs> and they fought so bad after that it's like you're just hearing it go wah 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 to the end and then it's quiet and then next thing you know it's fighting 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 and then they call the police on them and and the police come and I don't know they took the woman in because she tried to break the door or something saying that there's a guy in there but whatever I don't even want to get into it it's not my business but yeah, there was fighting and, and whatever. So definitely not a place you want to be in. If you got to go to work in the morning, you just want to rest, get a good rest and, and get up and go to work. So all those things that bother me, the thing about apartments and, and, and extended stays, whatever, you got to make sure that you choose a good one because if you choose a bad one, then you'll be listening to all these things, which are not bad. You just want to choose one that you don't have people that are inconsiderate people who are so loud and they they've never been taught how to how to be caught um, how to how they call it how to close the door um have some manners when closing the door and they just slam the doors left right and center you don't want you don't want to live in that kind of building you know you could listen to people have sex all day and all that. That's nothing. But when you're sleeping and you hear someone and you're trying to sleep and you're maybe in deep sleep and you hear someone slam the door loudly, that disturbs your sleep. You're going to wake up, you know. If these people having sex and all that, I don't think there's anything that that is so irritating like somebody slamming the door, you know. People having sex or whatever, that's a natural thing. I don't really... Who cares? Nobody is bothered by people having sex well we are bothered when they're loud yeah it does it does bother me <laughs> when they're loud but slamming the doors it's it's just it it says it says a whole lot about somebody if they are so inconsiderate about people living next to them and slamming doors like that so yeah um 